Hello, this is uh, Zillabelle Gallery in Thirsk, uh, my exhibition, November 2018. What I want to do is, is show you around the exhibition and maybe talk through some of the ideas related to some of the paintings uh, and give you an idea of what I'm thinking about, particularly in this show, but what I'm thinking about for 2019 and 2020. Follow me. What I'm particularly pleased about in this exhibition is that it's the synthesis of really 18 months work. Um, paintings I've done or completed in the Lake District and in the Dales and the North York Moors. Uh, but most of these have been painted outside. Uh, and what I like to do when I'm painting is kind of immerse myself into the landscape and uh, get a feeling of space and light. And these paintings are pretty much abstract really, but if you look at the landscape, or if, you, if anybody's familiar with the landscape, when they walk in the landscape, the colours changed instantly. So trying, trying to capture that in, in essence is actually quite a challenge, but also quite exciting as a painter. Essentially, I think I'm an abstract painter by painting the landscape. Turner, I think, was an abstract painter. He was the first great abstract painter. Uh, but I've also appropriated a lot of Turner's techniques and uh, processes in my work. Yellow, light. Turner described light. If you wanted to paint light, he described, described it as yellow. So I use a lot of yellow in my paintings. And he's right, really. It just described light and that kind of energy. And this was painted in the early morning towards Old Water. And it was painted pretty much in the spot that inspired Wordsworth's poems. Um, and I wanted long as a cloud. Um, most of these paintings were painted, I say, in the last 18 months. But I had a flurry, quite a creative, kind of exciting flurry over the last uh, six months where I painted quite a few paintings. And I was up at... Uh, the lakes during Storm Alley, um, and that was quite ex inspirational. Um, watching the storms and watching the waves on Derwent Water, the waves on Derwent Water were five, six feet high. Incredible, really. I was painting from Friars Crag, which uh, Ruski described as one of the best views in the country. In fact, if you look at this, this was one of the views I painted during Storm Alley. I sat there, pressed against a tree, put uh, my back against a tree, and painted all painted. Uh, it's one of the small watercolors. And this eventually will end up as a quite a large abstract in the studio. Come with me. Uh, again, painted at Storm Alley. This one was painted. This is perhaps more painted than it is a watercolour. And one of, the, one of the things that people think of is that this is actually an oil painting. It's not. But what I tend to do once I've painted them is glaze them with uh, a gum arabic and it brings out the colours. This is of Harrison Stickle. Painted again on the third day, I think, of Storm Alley. It wasn't as bad then, uh, but still, the weather was quite exciting, in fact, incredibly exciting as a painter. It's given me some ideas for, for next year and locations to go for next year. Okay. Uh, this was painted in Bridlington uh, on a very, very, very cold day. Uh, it's one of those paintings that just kind of came together, and you can actually see the speckles of snow and rain that was falling on the canvas. So this was time-based. I knew I had to get this painting done pretty quickly. So I've got four hours, five hours of graft. Once you start painting, you're really going to go for it. Um, come through here. This was painted in the studio. But this was inspired by um, my stay at Glen Ridding. Uh, we hired a hostel, which I mentioned before, for a week. I'm pretty pleased with this one because this again it kind of the synthesis of that experience of that immersive experience of being in the landscape um, and really it's quite abstract and with the light coming through the mountains and hitting certain points it kind of reveals a little bit about the landscape that you've never seen before uh, I'm pretty pleased with this one because that just kind of came together quite well as a painting this one painted at the seaside uh, watercolour on a very cold day Again, I had about two hours before it absolutely bucketed down with rain. Um, and I, I quite like that area of Paddy's Hall and North and, and, and South Gare as a landscape painter. This one I painted on my birthday, 9th of June 2018. Got up at five o'clock in the morning, went down towards the river and then painted Castle Crag. I love this spot. It's one of the wettest places in the country, but it's also one of the most magical places in the country. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of this exhibition. I'm quite excited about a lot of the ideas that I'm thinking about. I've been cogitating 
uh, and I can mulling over in my mind about what I'm going what I'm going to be doing for next year. And most of this work, or most of the new work, will be on display at Scarborough Art Gallery in 2019, um, which will be paintings of the lakes, of the dales, and the North York Moors, but primarily of the of, of the Lake District, because at the moment that's one of the most exciting places to paint. Uh, the colours at this time of year, particularly in autumn, are just incredible. So you'll see all of those next year and hopefully you'll uh, come and see the exhibition. Thank you.